All right, guys, here we are on Shakura's Plateau and down in the bottom left part of the map in the blue, down a game in this IPL Fight Club best of nine is none other than GSL champion NS Hoso Jokchi. And looking very scary, and not just because he's the icky bug race. Up <laughs> in the upper right part of the map in the red from the team Acer, up 2-1 in this series, it is Nurchio. Yes, indeed. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Starting game number four now. Jockji either ties it up or Nurchio pulls a pretty commanding lead in this series, to be perfectly honest. So yeah. we're going to see what uh, both these players have to offer now. The map is Shakur's Plateau. We are cross position. Should lend itself to a nice long game. So uh, Shakur's Plateau has been the setting for some pretty amazing TVZs. As a matter of fact, we were actually talking uh, earlier on today. Probably the best set that we've ever seen is that MMA versus Dongre Goo in the uh, Blizzard Cup for the finals, and that last game, that game number oh, seven, man. yeah, wow, what, 42 minutes or something like that? Just unbelievable. Yeah, definitely go watch that if you haven't. Oh, yeah. The, the Blizzard Cup finals between uh, MMA and DRG, just really amazing TVZ series all the way through. Um, the, you know, StarCraft too. that was like, that series was the last series of, of uh, last year, Yes, you know, for the GSL, and, and uh, this year in the GSL, and pretty much every other league, the quality of games, the skill level, I feel, is really taking a jump for some right. reason. It's the, uh, you know, especially obviously if you can play, you compare it now to last year, of course, there's a big difference, but sure. just in terms of last month to this month, hugely better. I'm, I'm yeah. so much more entertained by the games right now. The players are playing great. Yes, I, I, I can't agree with you more. I mean, the games have just been amazing lately. Um, and, and it's just even the average games that you see have been so much better. You know, we yeah. were talking about go back and watch. You know, GSL seasons one through three are now free, the, the opens. Mm -hmm. And um, so go back and watch those VODs and ponder, <laughs> you know, how, well, I'm, I'm just going to straight out say it, how bad the games were then compared yeah. to how good they are now. Entertainingly bad, for sure. But that yeah, is true. I mean, everybody's getting in StarCraft, too. You guys out there in Silver League, I know you're doing real build orders now. And good job. I'm glad you're doing that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So let's see here now. Pretty predictable opening from Nerchio. Decided to go hatch first and then put up his pool. And gas immediately afterwards. It's pretty much what he's been doing recently. And his opponent, Jokshi, going after Reactor Hellions before his expand this go-around. Yep. But no real surprise there. Yep, staying a little bit safe. You can toss down that uh, command center usually on about 20 supply then if you do this build that's usually around when it is all right well let's see here there's a couple of marines along with an sev are going to be trundling around nurchio's base we'll see if a bunker tries to get put down for jockji or if he is mm -hmm. going to be content with uh oh no looks like he's just going to be content with taking map control at the moment yeah yeah, but so easy to just kind of walk some Marines out, take control of the towers, things like that. Sure. And he's going to go ahead and start that command center on the low ground as well. Um, you notice it was a little bit later because he wanted to hit both of those Zelnaga towers first. Now he's moving back. You know, he feels safe, so he's going to start it on the low ground. Um, yeah, definitely. But Nurchio going into a much quicker Zergling speed than he did last game, actually. And that could be an indication of something. Um, this is a map where there's not a lot of room to maneuver in the uh, natural, sure. which is where a lot of the action is going to be at. So having Zergling speed for defensive purposes isn't quite as important as having it to get more map control, to be out on the map intercepting armies on a big open area like the middle of this map has. So I think we're going to see Acer Nurchio be really aggressive with a, a lot of Zerglings and just be really active around the map this game. There was a nice little move there by Jokchi as well. He knew that there were going to be Zerglings out on the map, and he actually mineral walked his SEV all the way across the map to ensure that it would pass through any units that are out there. For those oh, yeah. of you who don't know, good little beginner tip, if you actually take Definitely your workers and you ra and you actually uh, move them to min Minerals instead of to anywhere else on the map, they will actually pass through any units that are on there to be able to make their way to their targets. You can actually use that to kind of bypass uh, units up at the front or blockades, things like that with they your become workers. ghosts. Yep, basically. Ghost SCVs. <laughs> Yep. Let's see here. As, uh, that's our lucky SCV that was Mineral Walking. He is now set to repair duties. Back at home as Jokji is starting up his second orbital command. Yep, a little bit of a defensive Roach Warren there from uh, Nurchio as well. It's going to keep him quite safe. Uh, this is a pretty hard map to get in there and do damage with Hellions, but the uh, the kind of the, the key to this map is to just try to keep the Zerg to two bases as long as you can. So um, a, a Linox style on this map where you kind of stay at much heavier two base would be kind of the order of the day, I've got a feeling, for Nurchio. 
And it's okay. We'll, we'll see what uh, Jockji is going to do in response. Looks like he's got Marauders following this up. So a uh, big yeah. Marauder Hellion push, possibly. Of course, that provides you enough to uh, tank and destroy the spine crawlers and pretty much anything else. I mean, Roaches does well against as well. So uh, this could be pretty powerful. We'll see how Nurtio responds. Yep, I am hoping that he's not going to make any more roaches than that. Because uh, if he was, that means he's thinking of getting aggressive. And if he gets aggressive, he's going to run into a lot of marauders out on the map. Sure. Um, three of them out already and another one on the way. But it looks like he's just going to stay defensive. I think that's good. Just kind of poking out there to chase away the Hellions. Yeah, Nurtio has a ton of resources. It looks like he wanted to try and expand. And I imagine, yeah, okay, there's there the shadow is. of it coming up. So... And another round of seven drones following thereafter with that uh -oh. layer tech on the way. Uh-oh. Nurcio going a little bit too far across the map with these roaches, though. Oh, His third no. base is going to be in danger when he sees all these Hellions and the Marauders. Yeah, that's actually a ton of damage taken right now. Those roaches going down right away. Looks like they do manage to take one Hellion with them, but now there's oh. not a lot out. These roaches did see the Marauders making their way up as well. Six more roaches on the way, but he's going to need a lot more than that. Yeah, it looks like Jokchi is just going to go right for the natural, too. Yeah, very nice job to actually trap those roaches in as well. Uh, allow the Marauders to do all the damage that they could. Two more spine crawlers coming out right now. Nurtio is in a lot of trouble. There's Stim finished up as well. The first spine crawler is going to go down. Not oh, too wow. many uh, roaches actually remaining at this point. And we're going to see how many of these Hellings they actually managed to take down. The Hellings were essentially tanking the damage initially. Looks like Nurcio pushing back slowly but surely, but these Marauders are causing so much damage. No Queens have gone down yet, but it looks like that's about to change. One falls. Yep. A second going to go down, running away. Yes, it falls as well. Yeah, that Marauder has such a long range, you could catch that. The two Spine Crawlers do finish there just in time for Jokchi to be pushed back, but he did some decent damage with that. i got to say, you know, killing a lot of those Roaches, killing the Queen, he lost a lot of Hellions, but those are pretty disposable. I mean, you can sure. replace those pretty quickly. Obviously, you can get them back very, very fast here. Um, so, yeah, Jokchi, I think, is in a pretty good position, and I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him head down to that third and try to maybe cause a cancel on that. All right. And well, it looks like that's yeah. where he's going. Yep. You are exactly right, and uh, he is going to pick up on that hatchery now, force yep. Nurcio to at least respond. It looks like Nurcio is sending out a few roaches, but, uh, you know, not bad by Jokchi. He confirms that the uh, that the hatchery is there, and he can come back with a little bit more powerful attack to deny that once it finishes. Yep, and a smart move of him, too, not to overcommit with those Hellions, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a situation where those Hellions were obviously not going to win that fight, so good to move those away. Um, you know, Nurcio is doing a really good job of holding off a lot of these really strong, aggressive moves that Jokchi is doing, too. I mean, yeah. he hasn't really been slowed down too much by uh, what jokchi has been doing. And he is indeed going to move into that really heavy Roach and Fester play again. And that's served him pretty well this series, I'd say. Yeah, I've got to say that that's been a good choice for him. Um, it's been a good counter to everything that Nurcio has been throwing, or I'm sorry, that Jokchi has been throwing at him. But right now, it's not much other than a lot of bio units. Look at that. Two more barracks being added. It's wow. going to bring us to a total of seven. And uh, he is uh, quintuple producing Marines at the moment as he can invest in 1-1. One, one. And we'll see what Nurcio does in response. Looks like he's setting up to prepare for some drop play. Yeah, those Infestors, though, could kind of mean a bad day for all those Marines. I mean, Jokchi's going to need to really be aware of what he needs to do to split. He's going to have to not get caught unawares by the Burrowed Infestors that sure. we've seen Nurcio catch him with. So, um, you know, Jokchi could potentially do some damage here, but I think Nurcio's got a great composition to fight this, too. I definitely agree with you, and it looks like there's... Ooh, Hellions rolling their way up, separating out the bio forces. Let's see if we get any good fungal growth thrown down, because that's really going to make or break Nurcio right now. Yep. Any Split. unit splits? Yeah, he's splitting those units pretty well, as a matter of fact. Very has nice. a good concave in addition. Roaches are starting to get shot down. They're starting to win the war on the left-hand side, but there's so many units running around the right that those first round of Roaches are all going to fall. More Zerglings running in afterwards. A good fungal growth to pin down some units, but is that going to be enough? Looks like it just barely is, yep. and Jokchi is going to get pushed away. You know, uh, Nurcio did an excellent job, too, of moving those uh, Infestors away so that he didn't lose them. You see so many Zerg players just fungal and then just kind of let their Infestors headbutt yeah. the enemy units yep. and die, but... He kept nearly all of them alive. Not bad at all. And Commando Roach going into <laughs> the command center. Go, Commando Roach, go. Go get it. Yeah. Marines get running around from the outside. And uh, if you it can gets take a it. mule, yeah, yeah all right. Enough. 
So that roach has uh, paid for itself a little bit by uh, forcing a stim, causing energy. We lost hand, killing a mule. Remembered always. The next base is going to be like the Commando Roach Memorial <laughs> Hatchery or something like that. <laughs> They'll have a little, oh, oh well, we'll I'll like talk about that later because we have a drop coming in now for Jock G. Cleans up one Overlord. We do have a few units rolling in there. There's the Infestor throwing down a fungal oh. growth. Oh, but it looks like at the same time a big attack coming into the third of Jock G. Yeah, big attack at the pocket base there. And it uh, looks like the Command Center is going to be able to get away. But uh, nice job denying the mining time anyway with that. The drop has been cleaned up. That medevac's going to die. Yes, it has. Really it's nice job by Nergio. He is playing so well today. I, I got to say, I'm really impressed. I I am. I, I can't believe how well he's playing. It's not because he's a bad player or anything like that. It's, it's again, the caliber of opponent he's facing right yeah. now. I mean, we're talking about the GSL, reigning GSL code as champion. And uh, thus far, in the first two games, he manhandled uh, Jock G. Yeah, I mean, Nurcio is, is good. But right now, he's playing against a player that a lot of people have been saying is the best TVZer right now. Yeah. So for Zerg to come in, be up two games, be playing a game like now, I mean, it's looking great. But... I think he might take some damage from this drop. Where are the Infestors for Nurcio? Yeah, it looks like they're rolling in behind now, but nope. uh, here come all the Marines. He may have to pick up here pretty quick. Nice job once again of mitigating that damage. And look at this. A couple of Infestors making their way up to the top. They're just going to miss that command center moving, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate. Otherwise, a few Infested Terrans would put a stop to that. Uh, he's going to put one on the high ground and one on the low ground, or he might use an Overlord for Vision, too. We'll have to see. Yeah, he's got that one sitting at the back. Looks like another drop coming in for Jock G. He was worried about that. Nurcio cleans it up pretty well once again. Oh, he again. saw the probe transfer going to the third. Yes, uh -oh. he did. Uh -oh. oh, there's so many mules down uh -oh. there as well. Oh, no, it's fungal time. Yes, it is. This is not going to be pleasant. Avert oh, your eyes. Oh, for no. More. There's oh, more no. SCVs coming as well. Oh, this is going to oh. be so bad. Oh, oh the humanity. That, that is just, oh, that oh is my god, we'll ignore everything painful. else that's on the map right now because that is just painful. There's a few wow. Marines coming in, but the infested Terrans are killing all of the hurt uh, mules. That that How was a lot of economic damage. There. Quite a few, actually. Yes. Yeah, that was, I would say that was worth the yes, two it was. infestors. That's, that's pretty nice. Um, and, oh, is he going to get uh, a large amount of these Marines out of position, too? Nice fungals there. Beautiful. Roaches. Oh, loses a couple Ooh, of investors yeah. as they were pushed to the front there, but it looks Oops. like the fungals were worth it. Oh, but here comes Jokji through Another the back fungal. as well. Nice fungal. Yeah, very nice. Catches most of those units. Throws down a second one as well. There are a lot of medevacs here, but look at the power of the fungal. I thought that uh, Nurtio was going to be able to, or what was going to get just destroyed right away, but he actually takes most of the Marines with him. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, let's take a look at the units lost tab for a moment here and just kind of see where things stack up. Well, obviously, the workers killed definitely favoring Nurtio, but otherwise, 131 to 131 units killed. That is actually fascinating. I did not expect that. <laughs> that is kind of cool, yeah. Huh. So, Oh, tanks on the high ground. Very nice. Oh, yes. Move such a good move. Such a good move. As, uh, <laughs> oh, he does have vision with the Zelna guitar. He's got to get that investor away. Looks like the siege tank going to take a couple of kills with it, but it does go down. Yep. Infestitarians can uh, definitely negate the tanks on the high ground. That's a nice little move there. Yeah, a couple of Infestitarians up there, but we do have a oh, run nice by now. And it looks like they're going to go right after the bunker. Nice job taking that out, but there are the rest of the Stim Marines. Hold position, Micro, to take out SCVs on the left-hand side. Very, very smart decision by Nurcio there. Yeah, I got to say, I mean, Jockji is still a little bit ahead on supply, but look at that. Oh, even forcing a scan. Nice yeah. job there. Um, and Nurcio, again, you know, we kind of see a similar game that we did before, just chipping away at his opponent, just getting a little bit of SCVs here, a little bit of SCVs there, trying not to lose all that much. This is still a strong push coming across the map from Jockji, but Nurcio could hold it. I could see the only problem for Nurcio right now is that he's going into Greater Spire. He's actually going to Spire to get the upgrades even faster, so I don't know if he's going to have the units to handle this push right away. I think he's going to have to give up this hatchery. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you. He is staging with a lot of investors back at the back, um, and that Greater Spire, as you mentioned, is about halfway done right now. Nurch, or I'm sorry, Jock actually has a very strong position on the map right now, cutting that off, and with the high ground as well, with vision of the Selnaga Towers. That's pretty nice, and ooh, uh -oh. a few investors Terrence popping out one more time as more workers are going down. Now up to 43 workers killed. Like, how do we fit our armor in those eggs? <laughs> That's the age-old question for infested Terrans. Let's see here. That is that is a lot of infestors right now. Yep. That works. Yep. Using the roaches to tank some damage. Yep. Bye-bye tank. tank. going down. 
but uh, you know, just destroying that position. Oh, here we go. Very nice. Oh, catches a lot of units on siege. Drops down a nice fungal growth as well, killing most of those marines and destroys the first run of tanks right there for not too many losses. And there are ten broodlords morphing in right now. Yep. All that Nurtio needs to do is buy time here. He can give up these hatcheries. He just needs to buy time to get those broodlords out, get a few more corruptors out. Ghosts and Vikings on the way though for Jokshi. So this game may end up being a little bit different here. Oh, a nice drop from Jokshi too, coming in down at the fourth base. It's going to get cleaned up, but it's just kind of one more thing that Nurtio needs to worry about. Yeah, you're definitely right here. Uh, let's see what these Broodlords can do. How many Vikings and Ghosts? Oh, that's actually the first run. So they it's will join ghosts, the though. army eventually. Yeah, that is a lot of Ghosts being produced at once. Yep. And is uh, energy already done for those ghosts? Where's the Ghost Academy? No, Mobius Reactor is not researched. Yeah, but really you just need Snipe in this case. EMP is kind of secondary because you can kind of outmaneuver right. fungal growth in a lot of cases. But uh, but you are right that they will have less energy to Snipe, which could end up being a big deal against so many Broodlords. All right. Well, he's going to make his way up to the front. It looks like Jockey knows what's going to come out now. Uh, we had that Infestor run back up to the left-hand side. <laughs> Uh, wasn't able to pick off too much more else just because of the um, bunker that was sitting there. Yep. And we do have some Corruptors with this oh, as well. There are the Vikings. Yep, the Vikings are actually going to go down pretty quickly. Jockji being pushed back right now just on the back of these Broodlords. Very nice job. And we'll see if these Ghosts can get into play and start throwing down their Snipes. Yeah, I mean, really, if he can just siege up that natural location. No, he's going for the third. I was going to say, if he can just siege up the natural and keep him from coming down the ramp, that would be nice too. But if he can take this high ground after taking the third, that would also be helpful. Yeah, that, that's going to be just fine. Broodlord starting to siege up this position. It's going to force oh Jockji's hand a little bit. He's starting to make his way over. And there, that's a couple the of EMPs. EMPs do hit. A few of the Infestors at the back. The uh, full energy ones are going to need to make their way out. There's a couple of nice fungal growths. The Corruptors uh, are actually buffeting a little bit of damage and dealing with the Vikings pretty effectively. More fungal growths hitting this army. And now the Broodlords have just not been touched. Sitting at the back, are they going to have yeah, enough to I just power Josh. through these Marines? It looks like they will. I think Nurtio's got it. Yeah. Yep, uh, that's not enough Marines to handle those Broodlords, and all the Vikings are dead. Uh, man, those Marines are living for so long, yes, they though. are. Metamax, so strong. Man. Yeah, but um, it's it's just going to be too much for Jock G. Nurtio way, way ahead right now. Yeah, I definitely and agree with you. Yeah, so he's going to be in great shape. Yeah, he needs to run with those Broodlords, though, until the next Corruptors come out, because there are those Vikings out there. Right, yeah, and the Vikings are faster than the Broodlords. They'll catch up. They may even be able to pick one off. Uh, of course, uh, Nurtio yeah. is going to occupy his attention with some Zerglings running on by. Uh, but he will eventually make it there, I, I hope. What's coming up? Four Corruptors now. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I need more than that, too. That's a lot of Vikings. He is actually going to lose a lot of Broodlords here. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, going back Ugh. home possibly to Queen cover? There's one Queen. It's not going to be enough. Maybe some transfusions in this as well. Yep. Okay, there we go, and there's finally a Corruptor. So he did lose, I think, two additional Broodlords in addition three, to the one three, he yeah. lost in the fight. So, And wow, GG, GG is yeah. called by Jokji. Nurchio's taken it. He is now up 3-1 over the reigning GSL Codes champion. Yep.